introduction to web animation using javascript introduction in the early days of web animation was primarily uh, used by noise developers as a last ditch effort to call attention to important parts of a page and even if they wanted animation to uh, transcend its uh, niche it could not browser and computer were simply too slow to deliver smooth web based animations we are come a long way since the day of flashing banners ad scrolling news trickers and flash intros videos today the stunning motion design of ios and android dramatically improves the user experience instead of detracting from it developers of the best sites and app apps leverage animation to improve the feel and intuitiveness of their user interface animations rise to relevancy is not just a by product of improved uh, processing power it reflects a better appreciation for best practice within the web development community the tools you use to make a website are now considered less important than the quality of the resulting user experience as obvious as this seems it was not always the case okay so what makes animation in particular so useful whether it is a transitioning between chunks of content designing in recreate loading sequence or altering the user what to do next animation complements the next text and layouts or to reinforce your site intended behavior personality and visual specification does your content become uh, does your content bounce into into view in a friendly way or does it wipe across the screen this is the domain of motion design and the decision uh, design decision you make will establish the transcendent feeling of your app okay let's move uh, forward and start with the uh, from the chapter number 1 advantages of javascript animation in this chapter we compare javascript to css for the purpose of animation and introduce the unique features and overflow advantages provided by javascript in short we provide the context needed to help you understand everything you will learn and about javascript in this book javascript versus css animations javascript versus css animation there is a false belief in the web development community that css animation in is the only perform performant a good way to animate on the web this micro micro misconcept has led many developers to abandon javascript based animation all 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 together forcing them to manage the entirety of your user interface interaction within style sheet which can completely quickly become difficult to maintain okay javascript based animation is actually often as fast as css based animation css animation is mistakenly considered to have a significant lag up because it's most often compared to jquery animation feature which are in fact very slow however alternative javascript animation libraries that bypass jquery entirely deliver fantastic performance by streamlining their interaction with the page okay don't conflate javascript with jquery okay great performance javascript and jquery are falsely conflated javascript animation is fast jquery slow it's down despite jquery being tra- tremendously powerful it was it was not designed to be a high performance animation engine it has no per- mechanism to avoid layout trashing in which a browser become overtasked with layout processing work while it is the it is in the process of animating further because jquery code base service serves many purpose beyond animation it was memory consumption trigger garbage collection within the browser causing animation to shutter unpredictably lastly due to decision made by jquery team in the noble pursuit of helping no ice using and uh, avoid sub uh, sub sub tagging with user interface and with void code jquery forgoes the recommended practice of using the request animation frame function 
which browser make available to drastically improve frame rates for web animation okay features speed is the uh, of course not the only reason to use javascript it abundance of features is equally as important let's uh, run through a few of the notable animation features that are exclu exclusive to javascript page scrolling uh, there's a click here to code view there's a hyperlink there if you want me to provide the this document to you then uh, le let me know in the comment section uh, page scrolling and animation reversal uh, if you want to read this documentation and then you also have to pause the video and read it, read it by yourself i am not going to read the whole scenario physics based motion okay a maintainable workflows wrapping a maintainable workflow is designing animation in an experiment experiment experimental process that require uh, repeated tweeting of timing and easy values okay wrapping up wrapping the when designing animation in css you are inherently limited to features of the css i think the chapter uh, first chapter end here and uh, the new chapter we will start uh, from the chapter number two animation animating with velocity jo velocity jord yes we will cover this uh, lecture chapter number two in the new video uh, th hope you like the video and um, if you want chapter two then go, go to the channel and watch the second video